Hi, my name is Kerry Holzman, and I'm the co-host of the free podcast, Tech Vets. It's available at www.tech-vets.com. Tech Vets is all about running a computer repair business, so if you want to, or if you're thinking of starting your own computer repair business, or you've got one now, and you're looking for some advice, or just to hear some tales from the trenches, or looking for alternate ways of doing things or hearing how other people do things, be sure and check out the podcast with myself and Mike Smith of the Mike Tech Show. Mike Tech Show is also an excellent podcast. You, you should definitely check out if you uh, really want to get more into computers. Mike's been doing that a long time. He really knows what he's talking about. I'll have links to both the Tech Vets podcast and the Mike Tech Show podcast in the video notes that are located below the video. Now, you have to forgive my voice. I'm fighting a cold. I'm running a fever. I'm sweating. I got the air conditioning turned way down. I probably look pale. Oh, maybe I can fix some of that in post-production. But the show must go on. Darn it. I must continue to educate before this cold takes my life. I'm dying. Maybe. I'm just a big baby when I'm sick. Pretty sure I'm dying. Anyway, that's how dedicated I am to you guys, all right? My last video ever. It's not, no, it's not true. I just feel really horrible. But in spite of that, here I am making a video. Yay me. All right, what I love about this business, and I've said it before, is the creativity and the uniqueness that you can put to it, it, it that you can approach into any job, whether you're fixing something diagnosing something. How we diagnose is an art. And it's an art no different than painting. It's an art no different than carving. It is something that you get better with with time and it's something that you develop your own technique with. And my videos here, if you've noticed anything, I try not to say do it exactly this way and no other way. What I try and do, and I hope you're getting this from my videos, is explain why I do it the way I do it so that you can think for yourself. There's an old expression, it's better to teach a man to fish than to feed a man to fish. If you feed the man to fish, you have to feed him every day. If you teach the man to fish, he can fish for himself and take care of himself. And I'm trying to teach you to fish. That's my goal here. When you have problems, you shouldn't stop and ask me, how do I solve this problem? My video should be empowering you to go, Kerry, explain how he did this. It's not doing this for me, but he's empowered me and I'm going to use Google and I'm going to find other resources and I'm just not going to ask Carrie for every answer and cheat and go all the way to the answers. I will figure this out myself. That's the key if you want to be successful as a technician or if you simply want to be successful in your personal life in fixing your own computer. That sense of self-gratitude, that self-satisfaction that you did it yourself that you went out and you researched and you found those answers. You put the effort forth. Don't ask somebody else to put the effort forth for you or don't even bother doing it. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get across in my videos. That's why I explain the things the way that I do. There's often more than one right way to do things. However, the way that I choose makes logical sense to me and I explain that. So one of the things I really enjoy Apart from the uniqueness of, you know, diagnosing a problem, the problems are different every day, you never know what you're going to encounter from day to day, is the technology and how fast the technology is changing. Everything from a, a solid state hard drive like what I have here, it's a, it's a hard drive with no moving parts. It's virtually, uh, virtually indestructible. It's, it's not indestructible, to get me wrong, but the, the hard, traditional hard drive is probably, not probably, it is the most volatile component, the most likely to break in your system because it's got moving parts in it. This has no moving parts, that's why it's called solid state. It's basically like a giant flash drive. And you can use this instead of a hard drive, instead of a traditional hard drive, because this still is a hard drive. It just reads and writes about five times faster. And uh, they, my experience has been a lot more reliable. I've yet to see one of these fail. I've been using them for three years, I've never seen a bad one. Knock on wood that I've said that. Why do I have the solid state drive? And why do I have this Intel Core 3 processor? And why do I have this memory? It looks like I've got uh, eight gigs right here of memory, DDR3, 1333. And I got this little tiny motherboard box. What's in here? Let's open this up and see. 
This is a little ITX motherboard. You see they have these standards for motherboard. ATX is, is a common one, micro ATX. And this is ITX. And this little ITX board, let's get it out of its anti-static packaging. This is your whole motherboard. This whole thing right here, right? And it's got Wi-Fi built into it. It's got dual Ethernet. It's got a PS2 port. It's got two USB 3.0s. It looks like we got two HDMI outs. We got a DVI out. We've got four USB 2s and we've got audio all on this little package. That's pretty darn cool. You know, the technology is, is impressive, but you might say, well, you showed us something smaller than that, Carrie. The, the Nook has all that, and the Nook is smaller. That's true. That's true. But the Nook isn't much to look at, is it? It's this little box. And you can hide it. You know, you can put it behind the, the screen, or you can dress it up with a fancy sticker. Why can't you have a small computer that also looks really cool? Why is it that if it's got to be small, it's got to be this, just this generic dark little box? Why not, for example, couldn't you make your computer into something like a model train? <laughs> yeah, I said it. Bazinga! That's a model train, baby. And it accepts an ITX motherboard. It comes with its own power supply. And it's a fully working computer that you have to put together yourself that looks beautiful on your desk. Especially if you're somebody who likes trains, that helps. Let's unbox this thing and see what it's like. I stumbled onto this by mistake. I didn't even know this thing existed. And you know, in my YouTube videos, I'm always trying to do something different, something you don't see on other YouTube pages. And I really haven't seen anybody demonstrate this. I've seen some uh, videos of uh, the Consumer Electronics Show where Leon Lee, the manufacturer, was, was demonstrating a model of it that they had that uh, they had a model where the wheels turned and it moved up and down a track, but I don't think they make that model anymore. So this doesn't move. It's stationary, which is just fine by me. I don't need it to move. Look at this. It comes with a track. That's pretty cool. It comes with instructions, which I think I'm going to need these. I might have bit off more than I can chew here. There's a lot of parts in here. Uh, power code for US. Power code for US. Where have I been making a stink about some company who said they couldn't include a power cord because they were shipping them around the world and yet they shipped these around the world and they included a power cord for the US since they knew this was going to the US. Huh. What an innovative thought. Oh wait, everybody does that except Intel with the Nook. I really got to let that go. All right, power cord, whatever. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Styrofoam. Oh. Oh. Lionel would be proud. Let's see what we got. Look at that, huh? There's your power supply right there, on off switch, right? It's right there in the in the uh, engineer section. It looks like the wheels turn. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's just set that here so you can see it. There's supposed to be a coal car. Yeah, there's the coal car. Now this is actually what's going to hold the. <coughs> this is actually what's going to hold the motherboard. Right there. You'll see there's a fan here on this side and then you've got your uh, cutout for the back of the motherboard in here. So the motherboard's going to sit right up inside of here and uh, somehow everything else fits in here and that these two pieces will go together like so and we'll sit on this track which I guess we should go ahead and take the track out of its bag. Got to come out of the bag anyway, right? Let's turn this around the other way so you can see the, the power connector. Let's make sure I don't drop this off the edge of the counter. Oh, 
that thing is just that is really cool now why can't you have a small computer that also looks good why can't you you can and that's what this video is going to show you exactly how to do we're going to build this Leon Lee what is this called it's called a PC-CK101 of course that's what, exactly what I was thinking it was called. <laughs> and we're going to put this motherboard in it with this processor. This is a Core i3-2100, so it'll be respectable. It takes regular old memory, not laptop memory. It's a regular old DDR3 that the board's going to take. Like I say, the board is actually going to uh, go into the coal car here. And you'll see on this other side, there is, or there are, two USB 3.0 ports right there on the side of the of the uh, uh, train engine and you'll also see Leon Lee's put a nice badge right up here on the front of this track so if somebody were to walk into your office and see this they might just think it's a it's a knickknack not realize it's powering the computer that you're using the keyboard and everything with the monitor and, and have no idea those things are, are related that's just brilliant I think it's absolutely brilliant now, yeah, like I said, they had a version with the wheels would turn and they showed it with steam coming out of it. That's just nonsense as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't need to move. In fact, the less attention it draws, the more it looks like just a regular knickknack sitting on the desk, the better. So what do you say? Should we get to building this beast? Let's get started. <laughs> 